or Darren Purse obviously involved with Cardiff City and we just touched on it a moment ago I'd say the championship is probably the most competitive league in the country uh, and, and one of the hardest in many ways would you agree with that? Um, for definite I, I think as a player I spent pretty much I think barring sort of four or five years when we was also in the Premier League and before I dropped down when I was getting on a little bit it's, uh, it's I think I spent sort of 10 12 years playing and captaining the clubs I played in the championship so it is tough. It is relentless. There's games coming thick and fast. You know, you, you, you're pretty much playing Saturday, Tuesday every week, um, and people don't realise how relentless it can be. The turnover between games, the, the information you're trying to get into players over, over over the course of 46 games is huge. And um, you look at the budgets that some of the teams have got in the championship. You look at the boys that have come down, like Norwich, um, obviously Middlesbrough as well. I know they haven't, they, they haven't come down from the Premier League, but their budget's usually huge. West Brom, there's some real big, big, big hitters in that league, and um, and that's just every every year just tends to bring the quality on little bit by little bit, and uh, hence why there's a there's an abundance of sides that can go and get promoted. There really is. And often, obviously, it's the teams that come down that we, we half expect to be seeing near the top of the table, potentially going up again. We've mentioned Norwich already. Watford and Burnley would be the other two. Who are you expecting to see at the top? Middlesbrough, another team. You know, you look at the, the manager that's in there. He, um, he He's had experience with Sheffield United of being in the Premier League. So, uh, Chris Wilder. So, from that point of view, I, I expect them to be up there. You could probably name probably six, seven, eight clubs are all going to be fighting for them top two uh, top two positions. And I think one of the big things that, that why, why the championship is so interesting, obviously the playoffs, up until probably the last game of the season, you've probably got six, seven teams that could all be in them four playoff positions as well. So there's always there's always something to play for. I think that's what, what, what makes it such an interesting and such an entertaining league. And again, any surprises do you think in store? Any teams do you think will do well that are not so much on the radar? Or indeed, any other uh, players from other teams that have caught your eye while you've been on your travels? Uh, not really. I look, at, I look at teams like Luton. I think what they did last year with the budget that he's got is, it was fantastic. You know, I think they'll, they'll probably struggle to do the same as what they did last season. Um, Blackburn as well had a good season last year. Obviously lost Tony Mowbray in the summer, but whether or not that's something that that might hit them a little bit, you know, but they had a really good season last year. They was at the top of the top, top half of the table for, for a long time. Um, but as you said, I think the, the teams with the big budgets, the teams that have got relegated and got the parachute payments, they're usually the ones that go and do well. So uh, the likes of Norwich, Burnley, I think you look at Vincent Company and the way that he's changed the, the style and the, and the brand of football that Burnley are playing from Sean Dyche's era. Um, after they went up Huddersfield is is really refreshing to see and I think they're, they're probably going to be the team to beat this year.